Alright guys, I'm going to try to do this fast because there are like 39 cents. This might be the longest video of your life. Um, several of these I have smelled before because they're bringing back some of the favorites, but some of them I have not smelled before and I'm excited to tell you how I feel. Um, they're not going to be in any order whatsoever because I'm just grabbing them out of the bag and going. Um, I did get two bars in my giveaway kit though, Heartbreaker and Simply Patchouli. Yeah, I said Simply Patchouli. Are you excited? Most of my customers I know are super excited. Heartbreaker is, I think it's supposed to be like woods and musk and tobacco flower. It smells amazing. I can't figure out what it smells like though. It smells like something I feel like I've smelled before. It kind of smells like my husband. Simply patchouli smells exactly like it should, I'm sure. Smell yep, like smells fruit. just like patchouli. Oh my gosh, people are going to be so excited. kind of has a mint in it. It does have some mint in it, like, but I don't think it's supposed to. I it's wonder just, if it... it might be the mix. It smells amazing, though. Mm -hmm. It smells very, very good. All right, it's first up is Enchanted Mist. Um, this one I can't exactly remember what it smells like. This has been here before. I know some of you, this was like your favorite, and they discontinued it. Well, they brought it back, so... It smells kind of soapy and flowery. I wish I could remember what the scent descriptions were. Central Park Pralines. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. Kind of smells like pecan pie. She's like, I don't want to smell that one. <laughs> she doesn't like food scents. That's my friend Kat still. Yeah, I'm still here, guys. What's up? <laughs> oh, pumpkin marshmallow. This one smells extremely like Libby's canned pumpkin in the... Tester, but in the bar, it smells a lot more like marshmallow. I'm making a video if you could not yell, thank you. Yeah. Frosted ginger cookie. Like this one has a lot of ginger in it. Mm. Gingery, sugary, icing. It smells pretty much exactly like ginger snaps. Mm. Eskimo Kiss, one of my favorites, best sellers ever. I actually have um, a scent making kit uh, from corporate that actually has like the base notes, the top notes, and the mid notes and stuff um, of this smell. And you can smell all of them individually and then smell them all mixed. It's really neat. So, this one. Here, smell it. <laughs> it smells so good. Eskimo Kiss is one of my best, best sellers. So, if you're looking for one, it doesn't smell like your traditional Christmas like I would think, but I know people who say they warm it and now it's the only smell that they can warm at Christmas time because it has so many memories attached to it now. So they love that smell. I usually stick to my trees and apples and um, my pumpkin-y smells and my cranberry and my cinnamon. Those are my Christmas smells. This one's cinnamon vanilla, which I know a lot of you guys are going to be really happy. This one's back. I've had lots of requests for it this spring. It's one of those ones that people like to warm all year round. It's cinnamon vanilla, though. It smells very Christmassy, very holiday. You can pretty much do that one from Hall Halloween straight through Christmas. Alright, Iced Pine. This was one of my favorites. This one has kind of a minty and a pine mixed together. I love everything pine, so this is one of my favorites. And then, Cozy Fireside. This one smells like fire and clove. Have you ever made wassail? It kind of smells like the stuff you throw in wassail, plus fire. It smells amazing. So, Cozy Fireside. Wassail and fire. All right. Next is caramel pear crisp. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, so it. You want to smell it too? When I saw this one was coming back, I pretty much pooped myself because this was my favorite smell last year. My husband got sick of it because I warmed it so often. That one, caramel pear crisp, hands down. If you love food smells and you love cozy, yummy, warming, like something's in my oven smells, caramel pear crisp is phenomenal. Autumn sunset. This one has a lot of berries. It smells like leaves. Hey, mommy first. Everett, come here. Berries, leaves, deliciousness. Here, you can give it to Kat when you're done, okay? Get my helper back. Ooh, Simply Lemon. This is a new one. Hey, you wait on mommy. You go sit with Kat and wait on mommy. Simply Lemon. This one's brand new. Smells like lemon, exactly like I thought it would. I think this one's going to be really, really good mixed with things because that's what these ones are for. They're just one note of scent. Instead of most of our mixes have like tons and tons and tons of different smells in them to make them smell like what the label says, whereas these ones are exactly one note of scent, so you can add them to anything you'd like. 
Ooh, Very Merry Cranberry. This one is also new. This one might be one of my new favorites. It's like cranberry, some spices. Oh my gosh, this smells just like Christmas. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I cannot wait to warm that one. This is the only food one I Mhm. Mm Ooh, pumpkin roll. This is a favorite. You guys know what pumpkin roll smells like. It smells exactly like you want it to. Icing and all. Mmm, pumpkin roll. I can't wait to warm that one. If that's the trouble with going to Scentsy Family Reunion in July, is we get all of our fall and Christmas scents um, in July. And then I want to start warming all my fall scents and I want to put out my Christmas warmers. It's insane. So, the rest of the year flies by, though. This one's Honey Pear Cider. This is another one of my favorites. Oop. There it is. Honey Pear Cider. This one smells exactly like you want it to. You can smell every single bit of the honey and the pear and the cider. It's super sweet. I love that one. This is one of my go-tos for fall. It really helps bring... It makes me want to like curl up with some hazelnut coffee and like some pumpkin pie and some boots. This one is Dolce de Leche. This one is super popular. It just smells like caramel. It's amazing. I like to mix this one with apple press. And then it's going to smell just like a caramel apple. So apple press and dulce de leche. It's amazing. Don't criticize my Spanish pronunciation. It's not that great. I apologize. Um, white out. What? It's Italian. Oh. <laughs> Those are... Oh, wait. Wait. Maybe this... No. Those are Spanish words, yeah, too. Well, the le... Dulce is usually... Never mind. I don't know. It could be both. Thinking. They're both Latin, right? Languages? Romance languages? Oh We're going to look real ignorant now. I apologize. <laughs> okay. This one's white out. This one has some mint in it. It's kind of like sugar and peppermints. I love that one. Oh, Mandarin Moon. Mm. They brought back Mandarin Moon! She's freaking out because it's like our favorite. Mandarin Moon, oh my gosh, all fall long. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. I have to like bring out extra warmers in the fall because I have to smell all my smellies. Mmm, I love Mandarin Moon. Oh my gosh. This is not good. I want to go ahead and change out all my warmers to my fall warmers and all my fall scents. I just want to know. I love these smells. These are my favorites. This is my favorite time of year. It's extremely nostalgic for me because I actually started Scentsy in the fall. So all of these smells bring back all those memories of starting Scentsy and all the excitement. And so fall time for me is just a joy ride. I am obsessed with it. So Simply Spice. This is brand new. I'm going to rub it so I can smell it. Oh, my word. That smells like I wanted it, too. All of our scents that have, like, a spice undertone, like um, the ciders and... Oh, that smells perfect. It smells like spice. Um, I would mix that with lemon hardcore. Lemon and spice or... Probably put it in the Very Merry Cranberry. Add some extra spice to that as well. You could add it to, like, apples, like apple spice. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to mix that with some stuff. Simply Spice. What's next? Ooh, Simply Basil. This one I'm super excited about. I feel like maybe adding it to lemon. Lemon and basil. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells like you just pulled basil off of like the leaves, off the plant. It's exactly basil. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Sorry, I'm going to have a moment here. <sighs> those are some of my favorite smells, like those leafy, earthy smells. I could warm those all year round. Those are my favorites. Mm. That one's going in my kitchen for sure. Simply apricot. I'm excited about this one. I feel like maybe this one with the spice. Mm, oh my gosh. This is amazing. I'm not usually a fruity girl either. This smells so good. I think this one with the Simply Spice is probably going to be amazing. I'm going to have to start making some oh dual goodness, samples yeah. and send them out to you guys. Ooh, Heartbreaker, which we just smelled. Let me smell it in the... Mmm. Like when you rub your fingers on the testers, it warms them up so it smells a little more like what... It'll smell like warming. I'm only saying dudes and ladies. <laughs> this has pheromones in it like hardcore, so... 
I'm just saying. This might be one of my new absolute favorites. And Aaron Lewis, you're going to love this one. You know who you are. Customer shout outs. Peppermint Dreams. This one is my one of, oh, okay. I say that about everything. They're all my favorites, but Peppermint Dreams smells like Andy's mints and like peppermint cupcakes. Oh my gosh. This one, this is one of my favorites last year when it came out. I pretty much warmed every single one of my scent of the month bars myself. All right. Silver Bells. Woo! I cannot remember what this one smells like. It comes back every year. I need to warm it sometimes so I get that scent memory. Mmm, this one smells good. I need to read the description on this, but it smells like there's some berries in it, which I could be totally wrong. That smells super good. I feel like I smell a little bit of cranberry or mulberry in there. And some spice and some mint. That smells good. I warmed it up for you. Okay. Perfect mm. oatmeal. This one I've been really anxious to smell. The puppy's excited. Warm, warm, warm. Oh my word. You can smell the berries in there, definitely. It smells a little bit like oats and honey with some berries. Mm. If any of you loved oats and honey. <sighs> yeah, it smells kind of like oats and honey with berries. And a little bit of cinnamon, maybe. You tell me how you feel about that one. I'm not big on food scents, but that one smells really good. I like the berry in it. Mm-hmm. Kind of adds a little bit extra to that oats and honey smell. Mm -hmm. Mellow Moment. This one's a brand new one. I think it's in Spa. Mmm, that one smells really good. I have something that smells like this. I cannot figure out what it is, though. Like something in the bathroom somewhere. Like a good, a good bathroom smell. <laughs> It almost smells like a hair salon or a spa. That smells really, really good. Mellow moment. Ooh, Simply Patchouli. We know how much I love this one already. I'm excited, though, because they got rid of Hendrix, and everyone was so sad because we didn't have any patchouli left. Mmm, it is just patchouli. It's amazing, guys. Oh, my word. I cannot wait. I'm going to sell that, like, by the dozen to people. You've been begging me for patchouli. Business casual, we know I love that one. Also known as Christian Grey. Also known as ex-boyfriend. Also known as bad decisions. <sighs> you guys, also, P.S., they put it in the body care line. So, you can now get business casual in layers. So, ladies... If you want your gentleman to smell like Christian Grey, there you go. This one right here. Business casual. Lotion, body wash. All kinds of deliciousness. Cinnamon beer. This one smells just like cinnamon. I remember that from last year. Mm. So this one, cinnamon bear, is exactly cinnamon. You're going to add it to everything. It smells more like cinnamon candy, less like actual cinnamon, actually. So we do have the Simply Cinnamon Bar that we got last uh, last catalog. That one smells like the cinnamon from your pantry. This smells like cinnamon candy. Orange You Glad. This is a new one. Good name. Mmm. I was wondering if this was going to smell Mandarin Mooney, because it's right next to Mandarin Moon in the catalog. This has oranges and spices, but this one has a lot more orange to it. That smells really, really good. Oh, that smells good. I'm excited. We only have a few more. All right, guys. Christmas Cottage. This was one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I just bought a brick of it. This one? Mm -hmm. mm, it's exactly Christmas. If you're looking for Christmas, this is it. Christmas Cottage and mixed with Festival of Trees is my mm -hmm. favorite. Oh, also though, speaking of Festival of Trees, they had to rename it though. So it's now called Winter Pine. So if you're looking at my catalog and you're looking for Festival of Trees, it's Winter Pine. Very important to remember. Yep, that's Festival of Trees. Oh my word. This is my Christmas smell, 100%. This was the very first Cincy Bar I ever bought in my entire life. And so it has very, very good memories attached to it. Clove and cinnamon. This one smells exactly like it should. Clove and cinnamon. 
That one smells awesome mixed with Festival of Trees or Christmas Cottage or both together. You know how I like to add three to my, to my thingy. All right, what do we have left? Snowberry? I have lots of this downstairs. This one smells kind of like berries and sugar and winter air. I know that was a really weird description, but you know what winter air smells like. When you walk out and you just sniff the air after it snows, that's what that smells like. With berries. This one is buckleberry. The husband liked this one. Buckleberry pie. So think, make sure when you buy the buckleberry, it's not, um, or it doesn't smell just like the buckleberries. It actually has the pie smell in there. So you've got the crust and the sugar and the butter. It smells amazing. My husband loves that one. And then I have Huckleberry Sage, which you guys all got to smell this last year. It got to come back for the catalog. This one's a very, very sweet, delicious um, berry smell with a little bit of sage. And then Goody Goody Drum Gumdrop. This one's brand new. Mmm. This one smells like, you know, the spice drops? So it's not like your sweet like dots kind of gumdrops. It's actually like those spice drops. So it's got like your your clovey ones and your minty ones, the cinnamon ones, and you have like a lemon one in there. It smells like a bag of spice drops. All right, dudes, those are that's your fall winter lineup. There's a lot more. Um, also, um, we have a bunch of our old scents. I have not gotten the official discontinued list yet, but I will talk about those. In another video, once I get that list, because I think some of you guys are going to be really sad. But we have so many awesome new scents that you're going to love. So, let me know if you need anything or if you need a new catalog. This all starts September 1st, so get excited!